Welcome back. In my previous video, I showed that I was not able to successfully update my Foscam firmware. At the time, there was only one firmware listed on the Foscam website, so I patiently waited. And it looks like now they have a second firmware listed for the FIA 910W and also the FIA 918W. I figured someone probably opened a ticket with Foscam and told them about the, uh, the issue of the firmware. So Foscam now posted two firmwares out there. And you just need to download the firmware that supports your current Foscam. So if you look over here, they have two FIA 918W firmwares now. And it all depends, you use uh, which, which are one that suits you based on your existing firmware. To find out your existing firmware, open up your Foscam status page. And on here, it says my current device firmware is 11.22.2.36. So with that said, I'll be using this firmware, this first one on the list. I downloaded both of them, just so I can show you. So this is that firmware, here's the readme file. And here it says, uh, this is for this, the 11.22 series. Whereas if you open the readme file for the other one, this will actually say it cannot upgrade from any of the 11.22.2.xx uh, series firmware. So let's, let's give this another shot now. I got, I'm logging into my Foscam here. Let's go to device management. I'm going to upgrade device firmware. I'm going to do the device firmware first, then the web UI. Uh, just double check the instructions. Let's see, upgrade guidance, I believe it is. So over here, upgrade procedure is upgrade the system firmware first, then upgrade the web UI. And the whole reason I'm up upgrading my Foscam firmware is that now it will support the no IP. So let me just show you. In my previous video, I explained that DNS changed their business model where you must first sign up for a, a pro service, a trial VIP service. You pay X amount of dollars, I think it was $20 a year. And the no IP, their, their competitor, is offering free accounts right off the bat. So why not just use the no IP? It's so much easier. You see, with the, the DNS one, the, D, the DY and DNS, people will sign up, then they'll forget to cancel within 14 days, and their credit card will get charged. So now, let me go to the uh, device firmware. I'm going to first choose my file. Let me see. I'm going to Foscam, be this one, this folder here, system firmware, and choose this one. I'm going to do one at a time. So I'm going to first submit. So while this is rebooting, updating the firmware, what I did also did differently now is that I plugged it into the, my uh, network. It's not wireless. I plugged it into the network um, just in case something were to go wrong with the transmission. If, if there's an interference with my um, infant optics baby monitor, I won't lose the network connection and I don't want to break th this uh, Foscam camera. The other camera I had, uh, I was able to update it wirelessly, so it does work. But for this one, uh, for simplicity's sake, I decided to plug both my computer uh, into the Ethernet port and I also plugged the Foscam FI918W into the Ethernet port. Let's see, 10 seconds left. I hope, really hope this works. So if this does, then uh, a lot, I've been getting a lot of questions from people saying that, oh, why is DYND that's charging you? Uh, why don't you switch to no IP? Does no IP work? Even though no IP wasn't listed and exactly in drop down for Foscam, it still works but you just need to manually update your IP address like every month or so. All right, it should be done rebooting. Okay, now I see this firmware. The firmware has been updated. The next thing I'm gonna do is go to the, uh, the web UI section, upgrade device management. 
I'm going to choose the web UI, web UI firmware. I'm going to choose the firmware I want, choose, and submit. I'm using Safari browser to open my firmware. You can use essentially any, any one you want. Um, even the, the, IP, the IP camera tool the, that you run on PCs, uh, I showed that in my uh, in the earlier video, the one where I failed to update the firmware. You can just right-click on your FOSS cam that, that it detected on the network, right-click on it, and then there's an option to choose to upgrade the device firmware. You can do it through that way or do it through the web interface. They both work. Uh, they both work if you know the password. Uh, I think in my last video I had a problem where no matter what password I was entering in, it just wouldn't accept it. But when I did it with the, uh, the I went over to friend's house and used it on theirs and it worked fine. So I just like the web interface more. Oh, what I was recently, recently found, found out was the web interface. There's a difference between the Internet Explorer web interface and the, uh, and the uh, any of the others. One of the things, that, one of the differences I noticed was that under the user settings for IE, you could choose your safe path for images and videos. Whereas in the other ones, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, you don't have that option. Oh well. All right, let's uh, see if this boots back up. So when it boots back up, it should say that my new uh, web UI is. 2418801 Come on work Hmm Wonder if I should refresh the page Yeah, I'll refresh it So let me just log in now. 2.4.18.18. Oh, I guess it's close enough. Device management. I'm going to go to my uh, DDNS server. This is what I currently have. And now, there you have it. It now supports no IP, which is excellent. Hmm. All right. Well, when I have some time, I'll make a, a dedicated no IP video for the Foscam. Thanks for watching. Please rate this video, subscribe, submit any questions you may have. See ya.